So let's move into the student debt one because yeah, that see. one, let's see. That one also has some different opinions as well. I just got to find the, the proper article. But we have to remember that Brandon did say about eight months ago that he got student debt forgiveness passed right. by Congress. Yeah, no. Yes, and that good old Brandon playing with a full deck is always a good time. Um, this is see. why we're paleo Bidenists. We are paleo Bidenists. <laughs> we need to bring back paleo Bidenism. So the polling, because I think the idea of student debt forgiveness is such an obvious pander, you're going to get pretty high polls, poll numbers in favor of the idea. But this was from, yeah, last month and support. It could be a margin of error thing, maybe a little bigger than that, actually dropped. We had 1,500 eligible voters, 52% of them supported Biden's plan, half of them strongly, which is down from 62% right. in the month earlier. Well, I want to explain something that I, I've talked to people about this, where mm -hmm. um, I was just in a conversation where someone was like, oh, yeah, they slapped down that student loan plan. This is bad or whatever. Right, but then yes. I explained to them how like we're going to make up for this if the pan if the plan passed in paying for inflation increased college costs yes. and then they end up kind of agreeing with me i think a lot of people share the opinion that the college system how much it costs is broken which i agree with yes, them on. yeah like we can agree that the system has issues and we need to not just like well work harder to make more money to pay for college <laughs> like we understand that's not a real solution but you don't have to support this ridiculous only 10 grand off your loans forgiveness plan that's not the solution Which, at all but you know first off it was never going to happen you'll, you'll find a lot of left commentators on the on the far left saying that biden never actually intended to get this done it was a pure what, what, what would be the analogy it's pure fish bait a pure bait and switch before the midterms yeah, yeah was to, to get came... people to vote for his party and he's like oh well scotus struck it down how dare they do this well, clear, how bad they are pandering effort and to try and you know, um, get the base riled up and yep. get the yep. base thinking oh he's finally doing what we thought he would mm -hmm. dark brandon is here <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you said this is cnbc from last year 59 percent of americans worry student yeah. loan forgiveness will make inflation worse yeah i think like i said i think there's a lot of normie people who they understand that that the cost of college is wrong and something needs to be done yes but i don't think they have a a solid idea of what that is but i think when you explain to them no 10 grand in loan forgiveness for 44 million people is like not going to be the solution it's just going to make everything worse they mm -hmm. end up agreeing with you i think there's it's it's probably only the most resist libs of resist libs who think that like this is actually going to fix a problem <laughs> the the most hardcore partisan hacks who are you, unironic biden fans because if you have under 10 grand in debt 10 grand or under and this gets rid of your debt okay fine that's great but that wasn't that much to pay back to begin with no people have like tens and tens the, of thousands the stories of dollars I if hear, they go to like oberlin or some kenyan college or like these super obscure private universities the stories yeah. i hear always this person has 200 grand in college uh, in college debt great <laughs> one from 200 to 190 it's still a massive well, amount well, so then it's like it doesn't help anything. some would say well it didn't go far enough they need to offer more debt relief yeah right and, and so it's like what are you talking about fifty thousand? it's like then they're still going to bring up the stories it's like really their end goal was all debt relief you know that's mm -hmm. the bernie bro line it's like do you understand how much that would cost and how much that would destroy and the weird the thing this is the uh a bloomberg article from the editors of bloomberg and this was i think eight months ago because much student loan debt is held by high earners and those who borrowed to pay for graduate degrees i'm sure that's a good deal of where the expense comes yes. from those stupid grad programs that cost trillions and trillions of dollars well, a college is totally just grift and bait you with these like mm -hmm. i've been in presentations when i went to college about uh their master's program oh my god and, they and, won't shut up about those well yeah and uh, i watched this presentation no joke the the professor took out a graph and he's like look over 20 years you'll finally make back how much <laughs> like and this was not even he wasn't even ironically do this this wasn't a joke he's like over 20 years because of your increased pay blah 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 you'll finally make that money back in 20 years or something mm. and i'm just like is this serious <laughs> like are you, are you kidding me with this because it was like oh you'll get paid uh 10 more in your field although our program costs 50 grand and it'll take you two years right. and it's like no this is a total grift yeah or one way you could say it it'll take about 20 years to pay off the money you gave us 
Exactly. Right? Exactly. No, we make we make about twenty years worth of uh, yeah. garnishing off of you. Exactly. Um, so to fin finish the sentence, though, high earners, people who borrow to pay for grad degrees, the extension amounts to a subsidy for the affluent at the expense of Americans without a college degree. Right. And also, um, those who've continued to pay down their balances during the freeze. This was during a student loan freeze because you know Biden promised it froze it and then it came back the next year the and, and this could apply generally to those who paid them down at all have reason to conclude that they've been duped right yeah so those who've it, it was a uh, was it was dave smith's podcast i was listening to last week and the the co-host he had on there saying i worked pretty freaking hard to pay off all of my student debt and then it's amounting to nothing. I was a good boy and yeah. actually worked hard at that and no, I got nothing out of there's it. There's so many fundamental issues to the concept of student loan debt forgiveness mm -hmm. that whatever you think of, oh, he paid six figures and now he has so much debt just is completely outweighed by the people who didn't pay for calls or already paid off their debt who are now going to have to subsidize and fund right. it. I just think the trade off is not I think, there. Um, with this level of forgiveness going on and as the article says that it would encourage borrowers of all income levels to take out bigger loans remove incentives on colleges to hold down costs and boost overall debt levels even more this was exactly what happened in i think the late 2000s when they started letting uh the government get involved with all these loans is obviously the colleges were like oh okay so they can subsidize and people can borrow more so that means we can charge more and look <laughs> how much college is charging now i think that's the best point for not doing any of this debt relief is it would obviously raise the cost of college even more mm -hmm. it's like it you, you think that's going to bring the cost of college down the colleges go great they're just an incentive to make it more expensive yes. it's yep. just a one giant scheme really and so, um, as we would like to say, we could have avoided this mess if they wanted to actually try to fix the existing student loan system. Right. And there's varying solutions on that, but we understand that this is a broken deal. And so, uh, a number of weeks ago, Republicans actually had, I was surprised, because this is something we talked about That's in a really couple interesting, episodes. Because I was just about to say, like, for a lot of these debts, like, uh, or a lot of these issues, like healthcare yeah, yeah, and student loans, say. Republicans never have a plan. Like, it's not that their plan is bad. Like, they often don't have one at all. Mm -hmm. And so, it's nice that they have something to try and address this. So uh, it's been a while since I've looked at this article. I read it a while ago, but they have five bills to address the root causes. That's a favorite phrase of the left. Student debt issue, such as the price of college and students taking out loans that they can't afford. And so it is nice to see the GOP actually try to address these issues because the Democrats, the, those in power, actually are addressing the problem or it, pretending they do right? right they're getting the votes anyways because they're paying lip service to very material problems to a lot of people yeah. this affects a lot of people having all of this debt and the democrats are saying okay we can we will we'll claim that we can do something about it and then you'll get our vote well i think you get more um populist like i think vance is vance a part of this bill um, uh, it looked like you get more people like Vance and Holly involved yeah. with Bill Cassidy, uh, Grassley. Cornyn, Grassley, Cassidy, okay, Tuberville, and Tim Scott. So but Vance was like... involved in another bi I see. bipartisan bill. But I think the more populous you get into office, like Tuberville's actually been a great senator too. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see GOP address more of these problems because the GOP always goes, "Well, why can't we win young voters? Well, are you going to address high cost <laughs> of living? Are you going to address health care? Are you going to address high cost of college? No, just pull yourself by your bootstraps no, and we'll, earn more money. We'll We're not going to give you any plan. We'll make fun of how unruly millennials and Zoomers are. Yeah, and it's like, huh, no wonder you struggle with that demographic immensely, right? So I think presenting some sort of plan, because at least the Democrats go, we'll just give you free stuff. We'll just give it. But it's a plan. It is a plan. It's a dumb plan, but it's a plan. The GOP is, um, we'll cut regulations. Uh, remember <laughs> gas prices? They were low. Or inflation. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you just finished watching an episode of the Weekly Griff. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow us at the Twitter, retaking underscore nation. You're not going to want to miss out on any future episodes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.